Hello and welcome to this 10th and last recording in my series of the product configuration models and how to set that up. What we'll talk a little bit about today is how you can activate them, meaning how do you map it into an actual sales item or a production item and how can you save these production models that you've been creating and apply them elsewhere if you have additional instances or if you want to copy them to the same instance and so we'll look into some duplication functionality and we'll also look into some export import and then we'll look into the versioning and activation of the item so I'm going to take a look at this one here just as an example and one of the first things I want to show you is the duplication is super simple it's say that you have to create two different models and they're very much alike there are some smaller changes to the second model you can actually go in here select the model that you want to duplicate and go ahead and duplicate it you can change it to something else so advanced let's see advanced speakers and advanced version i'm going to go ahead and click ok and then it's going to think for a little bit and once it's been created it actually opens it up for you as well let's go back and take a look at it and we should have the advanced speakers here so here is the advanced speakers and now we have a new model that we can go in and we can start configuring and change some of the information and make that more of a, a unified model or a different model in the system Additionally, what you have also, you actually have export or import here, and that's a very basic solution, but it does take everything with you. So if you, once you, you export it, it's very simple. It exports into an XML format, and then you can import it into a different environment if you'd like. And what's very cool about it, it exports the entire model, including whatever table constraints or attributes or attributes types too. So if you, if you move it and import it into a new environment, what it actually will do for you, it will actually automatically create attribute attribute types whatever table constraints you might have and everything like that so, like, so the last thing I want to show you is the versioning and the activation so for the model to actually work you need to have it associated to an item and also to have it to be active so you go in here and you set it up here and it has to be approved and activated this is also where you set up the pricing method so if I go ahead and click a new one here, I can select the item that I'd like to select for. And it only allows for you to select the constraint-based items, obviously. And then you can select the pricing method, whether it's going to be the cost-based, or it's going to look at the attribute-based that we went through a few recordings back. Once you've done that, then you can approve and activate it. Obviously, it can't overlap. There can only be one active valid version at a time. As soon as you have that, then this is the trigger point for you to when you create your sales order line or you create your production order or quotation. It actually uses this table to define which configuration model to activate for you to configure. So this concludes uh, the 10 recordings of the product configurator. There's lots to do here and there's many possibilities and it's only your creativity that uh, limits you. So Get in there, start playing around, and if you have any questions, try to reach me and I'll be happy to help you out. So thanks again and have a great day.